Thank you very much uh, for joining us, folks. I'm Chris Wilson with Modified Independence here for Seven Minutes for Seniors with my friend Susan Warnberg. We are at the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. I feel very secure here. <laughs> Safest place in the county. I feel extremely safe. I think I left my car unlocked. You know, nobody's going to mess with That's it. All right. Right. <laughs> so stress. we're going to talk about all of these wonderful programs yes. in St. Johns County and everything like that, and all of these wonderful things that you do for seniors in mm -hmm. St. Johns County in a little bit. Okay. All right. Sure. But I like to start with this question. Okay. Who are you? Whew. So my name is Susan Warnberg. I um, married to a sailor. I met uh, when I was working at TPC at Sawgrass. He swept me away from all of this um, horrible, gorgeous uh, city back in 1998. We moved to Maine for 17 years where we raised a family. And then um, I told him one day during a wind, uh, snowstorm, I said, I'm done shoveling. And he said, thank you so much. I said, no, no, no. I'm done shoveling. <laughs> and um, we started looking for houses and we moved here back in 2018. Um, he works for a military contractor for the government. And so um, the shipbuilder he, he works for is based out of Mayport. So yeah. just, I all worked. Uh, we've got two kids, a 20 and 22 year old that they're both uh, gainfully employed. And um, I started working with the sheriff's office. Actually, let me step back. I started working at volunteering at the St. Augustine Beach Police Department when it was the then Chief Hardwick, um, just doing office things, anything that they needed for volunteering, um, Girl Friday kind of things. And then um, they have a program at the beach called Checks, Cops Helping Elderly Keep Safe. So we would check in on people every once in a while. And then when the sheriff, the chief became the sheriff in 2020, um, he brought me over here as well. I started in the care program. Community Advocacy Resources for the Elderly. That's this and program. And that we're going to have a lot more information about this. Yep. You guys will be able to see the full flyer and everything. And uh, that program is based within the Office of the Sheriff, and it's actually in the Community Engagement Public Affairs Department where I started. So if you've ever seen us uh, under a tent at an event, whether it's a golf cart parade in Nocatee or um, an event out in Hastings, we have a very vast diverse culture in St. John's County for everything from potato farmers out to, you know, servers in TPC. So uh, we run the gambit of where we can run into people and interact with our community. And uh, those are the events that I was doing for many years within community engagement. I've recently been um, bumped up to the major leagues up in the office of the sheriff. So now I do a lot more things with care as well as um, duties within the office of the sheriff and kind of being a girl Friday for the directors and the executive staff as well. So um, best job I've ever had, hands down. Uh, don't tell anybody. I wouldn't, I'd do it without pay if they yeah. needed it. But We can um, edit that part out. Yeah. Rob, don't do that. It's an, it's an <laughs> exemplary uh, administration. It is a wonderful community within these walls. Um, it's faith-based at this level to mm -hmm. see people just God, country, and community, it's its just the best job ever. So, And you don't carry a gun. I do not. I am a civilian uh, civilian employer. I work around people, so again, very safe. But um, it's just great because one of the aspects that I have here is um, I don't have to deal with the IA side of like complaints, but mm -hmm. I get to be on the other side of the IA when people uh, commend. So when people send uh, me emails saying, hey, one of your officers pulled over on 95 the other day, we're going home to Virginia and they help me fix a tire or, mm -hmm. um, you know, just people seeing us interact when it is even one of our deputies that was on vacation in the Keys a few weeks ago, helped somebody hurt a, a tire blowout on a trailer on a boat and helped the guy. And he's like, you've got to be in law. You've got to be a, a servant of some right. sort. And he's like, yeah, I work at the sheriff's office. And then he, the guy did his diligence and sent us an email and oh, wow. we got him a, a commendation just to say, hey, you know, good boy, attaboy, way to go for out of uniform doing what is supposed to be done for our community, whether it's our community or another. Right. So it's the other it's, half of that protect and serve, is. right? It yeah. is. It doesn't yeah. stop when you take that uniform off. So um, no, just like I worry about the old ladies walking through the through the yes. parking lot with the shopping cart. Yeah. 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 I mean even we one aspect of uh, my job we do uh women's self defense course. Uh it's women against violence encounters. And we teach people Get That's out of your waves, phone. Right? Yep, wave. Yep. Okay. Um, get out of your phone. Be aware of your circumstances. You know, we all go into that vortex of Target at three in the afternoon. We come out at dark. Oh, did I park under a light? Where's my car? Mm -hmm. um, you know, those kind of things. My daughter and I were at the, <laughs> a bougie. My daughter and I were at the theater last week, 
and these ladies came and sat down behind us. They set their wine down and then they went back to go to the restroom. And I'm like, oh. I didn't want to say anything, but the yeah. whole time I'm going, how do I convince yeah. them? Because they were they were senior citizens. They were yeah. just enjoying their day. And I knew that that was a safe space. So then I felt like I was on duty. Like, now I got to watch out for them, oh, making yeah. sure everything's fine. Yeah. So it's 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 one of those things. I do, we... this, I do the same thing. I do the yeah. same thing. Like if the if the shopping cart, the motorized shopping cart is out yeah. somewhere, like I, I try to get it back to the building right. or whatever, right. you know. Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave your purse unattended. Don't right. leave your drink unattended. Yeah. We're blessed with living in a really great, safe community until mm -hmm. it's not. Until it's not. Mm -hmm. Until it's not. And and it's, you know, unfortunately, you can't stop people from doing something right. bad. Yep. You know, the, the, the law is supposed to be the deterrent from doing something yep. bad. So, yep. um. Well, that's awesome. Like you went, you went right into it. Okay. You just na like nailed it all. Boom, boom, boom. I, I, I'm quick and concise yeah. and to the point. Yeah. yeah. No. Um, okay. So before the timer runs out, mm -hmm. so you, you went to Mayport. So uh, is he at BAE? Is that he works? actually works for General Dynamics. Uh, okay. He works for Bath Iron Works Shipbuilders. So okay. he's on the maintenance and availability side of things. And so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, he uh, has always, he was a ship driver by trade in the, in the military. So he's yeah. a surface guy. He's that a was surface my next warfare. question. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. He went to the Naval Academy, uh, commissioned an officer, and then oh. went into surface warfare. Okay. And uh, he drove the big boats. And so, so he got out as what rank was he? He was 05. 05? Yep. Okay. Yep. So he got out and then he went to the reserve for a short period of time. My son was born. And um, had kind of seen all of the officers above him miss, you know, third grade in its entirety. And he says, I don't want to do that. So um, ironically, got out of the military, got married. We moved many, many times after he got out of the military. Oh, yeah. But, um, you know, got to be home at night for baseball games and Bible studies and all that thing. So That's it awesome. really helped. Yep. That's that awesome. Good. Well, thank him for his service from Absolutely. one sailor to another. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was on submarines, so I had a little bit different situation. That's our timer, so we'll just cut it right there. Perfect. This has been our first segment of 7 Minutes for Seniors. Make sure you go and check it out. Uh, it's going to be shared on social media. And make sure you come back again tomorrow. We're going to be wearing the same outfits <laughs> in the same place. And we'll be back for segment two. Thank you very much. Oh, wait. Tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. Email address, website, phone number, Absolutely. Everything. I can be reached at the general line for the Sheriff's Office, 904-824-8304. Or my email address is swarnberg at sjso.org. Awesome. Yep. Is there a website for the CARE program? Uh, it is also on our website, sjso.org. It'll lead you through our community programs, everything from our WAVE Women's Self-Defense, our CARE program, as well as any other things we have like Safe Track or um, community programs and where we'll be at in the future. Awesome. And we're going to come back and talk about those programs in our next segment. So. Make sure you check out the websites and come back for segment number two. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.